You ready to fight? Ready. With a dozen wins by submission, here is Nate Diaz yet again. No, no, as a boxer, those hands are going to come at you right out of the chute here tonight, and they probably won't stop over 15 minutes. Nate Diaz, a very tricky proposition, really for anyone at 155 or 170 pounds. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Keeping him honest with the jab. Right early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Midway through round one. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Nice kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Once again, they're in the clinch. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, he lands a hook. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Lands the kick to the body there. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Strong straight left there. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Doubles up on the jab. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Collar tie here in the clinch. Now oh, they separate. Five minutes in the books. You ready? You ready? Let's do round it. two here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it. Oh! You heard him. Oh, guys, right here. So, DC, I'm not sure if fear of fatigue is a factor, but given his body of work in the UFC, you got to be surprised that he hasn't attempted to get this fight to the ground where he can... Oh, there it is again. Look at that. Back to the feet. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice combination there from Nate Diaz. We'll see if he can follow it up here, DC. Nate Diaz in the volume, the precision. He's in your face from start to finish. Guy that will overwhelm you if you allow him to. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Diaz. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner. And oh, he's lost his still attached to his body. The last time I saw an upper shot like that, it was Overy versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found out the All right, now it seems as though the referee has closed his distance, monitoring the action closely. 
Lee, I think there's potential to stop this fight due to swelling right now. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. And it's in the reactions, right? Every time he gets hit now, he turns away. He moves away from the fight. If you're a fighter, you do not want to be avoiding the contact. But how could he not when he's been beaten this bad? Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Diaz is able to protect the eye there with that block. Nice job with his fight awareness there to raise the guard. He's okay. Back to the feet now. in a big moment in this fight. All right, back to the stool, and he is... You ready to fight? Ready. Good. So here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, and there's that hook. This time, no good. So Rachmanov's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, yeah. landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Rachmanov's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, oh, still here. Look at that. He can't even stand. are just brutal. Yeah, lights out, brother, lights out. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We said it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Shankar Nomad Rothmanov. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this victory.